understand. It's about the money. I mean, we gotta care about what the people are saying. Yeah, still, like, it's 15 we're grand we're money. Money. in the end, it's all about what the people need, not Listen, what. There's no point in addressing the funding issue of this plan if we cannot even get the approval of the state. What exactly is the issue? A lot of state international travel needs to have an educational value, and the traveling body at least 30 plus students and enough chaperones to cover. Why can't the SAC make our case to the State Department of Education? The SAC claims to be very busy and doesn't have time to entertain our silly initiative. She's very difficult to work with. Anytime students from CO ask for help, she is impossible to find. If we can obtain the support from the Student Congress, which you will have, then we can continue to pursue our initiative and we can go to the state level ourselves. Without a plan for funding, it will be difficult. Let's look at personnel first. 30 plus students is going to require both male and female chaperones. The parent organizations can provide some of the chaperones so that the teacher requirement is lower. Are they willing to assist in the funding? No, we would have the funding if we knew what Jacob did with the $15,000. That was not my deal. Sure. Enough. Getting at least 30 plus students from CO is going to be tough. I don't think I can find that many. Well, how about the other schools? Other schools? What benefit would it have to them? A moral obligation to help those in need. She's right. Then we should reach out to other schools and put a statewide delegation together. And who's going to pay for it? Pay for who? The other school. The other school should be responsible to raise funding for their own representatives and anything else additional for the cause. And for those who can't? Then we will. How? We have a month to educate and persuade the student body. I don't think this is the time to be persuading the student body of anything. Mr. President, this will be your first initiative as student body president, and it's an international one. First initiative. International, not Ava. We will see this through. You have to consider the PR staff. It doesn't matter. We should do this not just for our sister school, but because it's what anyone in the position to help should do. This is what they have to deal with. This is what's happening, and we need to find a way. Look at some leaf. Everyone else follow except for the four. I just started off the day. Well, I just I don't know how we're going to look as PR wise. Listen, there's no point in adjusting the funding issue of this plan if we can't even get the approval of the state. What exactly is the issue? All out of state international travel needs to have a educational value and a traveling body of at least 30 plus students and enough chaperones to cover. Why can't the SEC make our case to the, to the State Department of Education? The SEC claims to be very busy and doesn't have time to entertain our silly initiative. She's very difficult to work with. Anytime students from CO ask for help, she is impossible to find. If we can obtain the support from the Student Congress, which you will have, then we can continue to pursue our initiative and take it to the state level ourselves. Without a plan for funding, it will be difficult. Let's look at personnel first. 30 plus students is going to require both male and female chaperones. The parent organizations can provide some of the chaperones so that the teacher requirements is lowered. Will they be able to assist in the funding? No, we would have if, Jake, if we knew what Jacob had done with the $15,000. That was not my dealing. Enough. Getting at least 30 plus students from CO is going to be tough. I don't think I can find that many. Well, how about from the other schools? Other schools? What would it benefit them? A moral obligation to help those in need. It shouldn't be what's in it for us. There are students our age in need. How do we not help? She's right. It's the right thing to do. We should do something we all want to do. We should reach out to other schools and put together a statewide delegation. And for those who can't? Then we will. Who's going to pay for it? Pay for who? The other school. The schools should be responsible to raise money for their representatives and anything additional for the cost. How? 
We have a month to get our end in order and find the support of other schools. In the meantime, there's a task force looking for the missing funds. Let's just hope they can find it. Let's hope they do. And if not, we can look for state funding. There is no funding for student government at a state level. There should be, but there isn't. The DOE believes that the the DOE believes that the that the governing of student bodies falls under the individual schools themselves. That's why we have an extremely uneven and disorganized student government stretched across the state. When I came from Honolulu Enough about Honolulu High Haven. The DOE needs to find some uniformity across the state on how student governments run. Jada, tell me how the funds work on the state level for the DOE. In regards to funding on the state, on the DOE level, it's pretty simple. The DOE, the state legislator, allocates a set amount in the DOE for student government programs in schools. Non-allocated funds at the school level. Falling down the stairs. Oh, is that Kai? Where? 